Welcome. Today, we are talking about paper recycling. Where does the primary ingredient in paper making, cellulose fiber, come from? Why is it critical to recycle paper? Can all types of paper be recycled? We will look into these matters. Furthermore, we will explore the recycling process for waste paper and cardboard. Lastly, we'll touch on packaging materials. Packaging plays a crucial role in protecting goods during transportation and storage. However, the choice of packaging material significantly impacts environmental sustainability. Recycling is the process of transforming items that are no longer needed into something new. For instance, after you've finished reading a newspaper and placed it in the recycling bin, it's collected and taken to a factory. There, it's turned back into fresh paper ready to be used again. Paper stands as one of humanity's most crucial inventions, serving us in various ways every day, from reading to writing. The cellulose fiber used in paper making comes from for primary sources. Trees cultivated in specialized plantations. Wood chips obtained from sawmills. Used paper and the gas, which refers to the leftover cellulose fibers after extracting juices from sugarcane. The significance of recycling paper cannot be overstated for several reasons. Recycling paper conserves vital natural resources such as trees, water, and energy. Notably, recycling paper requires less energy compared to manufacturing new paper. It reduces the demand for raw materials and lowers greenhouse gas emissions linked with paper production. Recycling paper plays a crucial role in waste reduction efforts, it minimizes waste and saves space in landfills. Moreover, recycling paper contributes to economic growth by promoting material reuse, reducing environmental impact, and creating jobs. Types of paper that cannot be recycled include waxy or laminated paper and stickers. Waxy or laminated paper is a type of paper that has a coating of wax or plastic, making it waterproof or resistant to damage. Because of this coating, it's difficult for recycling facilities to separate the paper fibers from the waxy or plastic layer. Examples of waxy or laminated paper include Milk or juice cartons. Glossy magazines or brochures. Stickers are made from materials that include plastic, which aren't easily broken down in the recycling process. When stickers are mixed in with paper during recycling, they can cause problems like contaminating the paper pulp or clogging machinery. Examples of items with stickers that can't be recycled include Labels decorative stickers, and adhesive labels. By avoiding putting these items in the recycling bin, we can help ensure that the recycling process runs smoothly and efficiently, reducing waste and protecting the environment. Paper and card that reach the municipal dump are difficult to recycle. This is because wet and dirty paper is not accepted by the paper processing plants. To solve this problem, many schools and shopping centers provide collection points for used paper, old newspapers, magazines and cardboard. This waste material can be sold to recycling depots. The paper and card are separated from other waste before it gets to the landfill sites. This reduces the amount of waste at landfill sites and it means that the paper is cleaner. The first stage in paper recycling is to separate paper and card in your home or school and then take it to a recycling depot. The paper can be collected by the local authority or by a paper recovery merchant. From here, the paper is taken to recycling centers where workers sort the paper by hand. The paper is sorted into different grades and made into bales. It is then delivered to a paper mill or processing mill. The recycling process begins at the processing mill. 
the paper is soaked in water and shaken. A machine that stirs and chops up the mixture of paper and water, it works like a food blender. This releases the cellulose fibers to form pulp. The pulp must be cleaned of the ink to prevent a dull gray end product. A method called froth flotation is commonly used to do this. Air is shot into the pulp. The ink particles stick to the air bubbles and form a foamy scum, which gets skimmed off the pulp. A much whiter and cleaner pulp remains behind. The scum gets dumped but degrades into water and oxygen. This makes froth flotation an environmentally friendly method of removing ink. Chemicals may be added to brighten the pulp. This recycled pulp is sometimes combined with new paper pulp and then sent to the papermaking machine. At the papermaking machine, the pulp is pressed between two rollers to give it the required thickness and to squeeze out water. Instead of waiting a long time for the paper to dry, it is dried more quickly by heating it and blowing hot air over it. Once the paper is dry, it is cut into the necessary size and packaged. Paper fibers can be recycled as many as seven times. But each time it is recycled, the fibers get broken into shorter and shorter fibers. If it is recycled too many times, the fibers become too short and weak to use for making paper again. So, waste paper can be recycled and made into new products. Newspaper and corrugated materials can be made purely from recycled paper. Once paper is used, it can be recycled and the whole process starts again. The packaging of a product is important because it protects the product, provides information, and makes transportation and shelf packing easier. The properties of packaging materials depend on the product that the packaging will contain. Packaging is often thrown away after the product has been bought. This makes packaging a good way to use up the pulp made from recycled paper. Two types of packaging that are commonly made from recycled pulp are paperboard and corrugated card. Paperboard is made from both recycled pulp and new pulp. The recycled pulp is used to make the board and the new pulp is used to make the paper. The board consists of several layers of cellulose fibers that are arranged at right angles to each other. This layering gives the board its strength. The board is sometimes gray because the ink is not always removed. The top layer consists of new pulp and is white in color. This top layer makes up the paper of the paperboard. Corrugated card is a strong and cheap material that is used for packaging. It consists of three layers, two outer layers, called linerboard, and an inner, wavy layer. Corrugated card is often made from 90% recycled pulp. Corrugated card is the one type of packaging that is most generally given up by companies and homes for recycling. In this way it gets reused more than once. Corrugated cardboard stands out as a highly useful product for several reasons. It is lightweight yet strong offering excellent protection for goods, ensuring safety during transportation without adding unnecessary weight or cost. Corrugated cardboard's flexibility allows for customization, making it easy to create boxes of various sizes and shapes to meet specific requirements. As a recyclable material made from renewable resources, corrugated cardboard is an environmentally friendly packaging option, contributing to sustainability efforts. It is cheap and widely available providing an affordable packaging solution suitable for many different industries and applications. We have come to the end for today. Please like and subscribe so that we can continue offering these classes. Should you have any questions or suggestions, please email us or write in the comments section. But before we go, please try to answer these questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and keep well.